What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Get this, Alexander Usyk's promoter, Alex Krusik, leaving a comment on Tyson Fury's Instagram post about the rematch today. He said, Tyson, listen up. I've conquered everything in boxing, titles, records, the lot, but I've never had to come back from a loss. On December 21st in Riyadh, in the heart of the kingdom, the king will reclaim his throne and become undisputed at Usyk. I'm coming for you. Get ready for the Gypsy King. The path to redemption is mine. I know I have to do. I know what I have to do. I saw my shortcomings and best believe I am inevitable. And Alex Krusik says, bro, let's have a beer. Hmm. Okay, let me counterpunch. Um, I don't really know what Alex Krusik is really saying. Let's have a beer. I, <laughs> the first thing I think of, he's, he's just trolling him because he knows Tyson Fury was just drunk a couple days ago off his ass. So him saying that, that's his response. Like, hey, yeah, let's have a beer, Tyson, because you're not going to beat my guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And... Um, a lot of people think that Tyson, you know, was you know, throwing some leather on the punching bag to, you know, show something besides him being drunk. And see, one thing I need to remind you of that incident. The problem primarily with the incident is not what Tyson Fury did, is what Tyson Fury didn't do first. OK, what he didn't do is he didn't say anything about rematching anybody. Frank Warren did. Frank Warren said that he said, you know, but he didn't say anything. And a lot of people like, okay, like Johnny Nelson was stating, well, he might not want to fight Usyk at all. You know, it won't be the same. He may not want it like Usyk wants it. He may not want to fight like Usyk wants to fight. He may not want to prepare like Alexander Usyk prepares. Therefore, I don't think the fight will happen. So then we see Cut to that, then we see what? <clears throat> Falling on his face, drunk. So we seen Tyson Fury drunk, and that's pretty much the first response that we've received since he's lost, him getting drunk. It doesn't look good, okay? So I think... You know, in a lot of people's eyes that, well, hey, man, maybe this is just Tyson's way of how he's dealing with stuff. You know what I mean? And because he hasn't said anything else, he just got drunk. You know, if you got a person that walks out and really don't, you know, I mean, he wasn't mute. He did. He did. You know, it ain't like he walked out and didn't say anything. But since that loss, you know, he used to do Instagrams and posts and social media uh, and, you know, informative videos and stuff like that. And, but we didn't see any of that. He didn't say that he was fighting. He could have and should have came out. He's one of the representations of a uh, self-promoting fighter. Frank Warren shouldn't have to say, oh, I think he's coming back. He's, he's ready. Well, why didn't Tyson tell us that firsthand on his social media with millions of subscribers and followers? He could have told us that first, but he didn't. The only thing we see them do is get drunk. So that's not a good sign. Okay, now back to Alexander Krusik. Alexander Krusik's like, yeah, all right, bullshit. You say you're doing this and you say you're going to come back from a loss and all this. Hey, let's have a beer, bro, because that's the only thing we've seen you do besides punch the punching bag a few times. Let's dr is, is drink. That's why I feel that Alex Krusik saying that. He is trolling Tyson Fury. He doesn't believe Tyson Fury. You guys tell me what you think of Alex Krusik's response to Tyson Fury's uh, silence breaker. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Hey.